Tell us what is alter egos. What is the film about? Oh, Hit it. Oh, uh, well, they're kind of there's kind of an A story and a B story, so I can tell my side of the story and you can tell your side of the story. I like to think of yeah, my side as the B A story. story. A. Yeah, the B, I don't think that's I actually think the really right. the A story. Sure that I'm kind the of a what story. drives the film. Okay, try uh, to The A story, my side of the story, is about uh, superheroes uh, exist and they have kind of captured, they've captured all the supervillains and, and have kind of outstayed their welcome in society. And so people, the society is kind of, kind of getting tired of them and they're also very getting tired of um, spending their tax money to fund the superheroes. So the government is going to kind of cut their funding soon. So the superheroes have to come up with a plan to become relevant again. So see-through, that's my character, um, yeah, and he's Fridge, and we're kind of like the lower echelon of the super core, you know, we're kind of the, the, the foot soldiers. And so I'm transporting a, uh, a super villain to a new facility, and so I've got a scheme that I'm actually being, the head of the super core is making me kind of go through with this, and I have to kind of trap my best friend, see through, into kind of doing this um, event, which I don't want to give away, but shall I give it away? And that's just the first two minutes of the movie. Then after that, you're out of the. the no, film. I'm actually pretty not part of it. in the movie anymore after that. Yeah. I've, yeah. I don't think we ever met before. I'm impressed. No, I'm really yeah, upset. I was in the so yellow. I don't know if it, oh, a lot of times, like, like a lot of it, most of the time. What's you, what, well, what, in my what end of it, well, the B, the B side of the story <laughs> is uh, uh, I I'm Fridge. You know, this this superhero on one hand who's come out to the Hamptons to deal with this uh, this plot that Seathrough's kind of hatched to um, to get our funding back. Uh, and at the same time, uh, I'm dealing with a personal crisis, which is that um, my alter ego or my real self, Brendan, who's just a you know, human civilian guy, uh, is having girlfriend problems. And um, I decide that I'm going to uh, dress up and hit on my own girlfriend as Fridge. Uh, and uh, and she starts having an affair with me, so I'm cheating on myself with myself, uh, and I'm having a bit of a, a crisis about that, not knowing who she really likes more, whether it's the real me, but who is the real me? Is it the guy in the blue tights who can shoot ice out of his hands, or is it the, the normal little comic sketching dweeb who lives with his girlfriend? And then as the movie sort of uh, goes on, all these things, you know, see through his crazy plot and my personal crisis kind of intertwine and cause shenanigans. And what other types of superpowers do you have besides the, the shooting of ice? What, what do you uh, possess? Superheroes only have one superpower. I don't know if you know this. That's why we work together in the yeah. Super Four. Yeah, and they're pretty, they're kind of realistic. So he, he can shoot ice and my character can simply see through things. He's uh, hence see through. He can only just. You can see. read lips pretty well too. Yeah, but that's more of an acquired skill. I don't yeah, know if that's, that's like true. A, necessarily like a super. And I can read really fast. But that's also something that. I not really fast, like not faster than the average person, but I can I can read pretty quickly. But that was also not never that's discussed sort of based in the on movie. me though. That's that was just, just something real, that you. That's something I had on your own. That didn't make it into. No the one film. talked about that. Okay. Yeah. No, right. that was never oh, brought up in the film. Does he move his lips when he reads, or is he actually so skilled that he doesn't move his lips? I don't know. I need to get a mirror. Out and really I always thought of your character as illiterate. And I think it kind of comes oh, wait. across that way in the film. What did I say? I said I could read really fast? Maybe it, maybe it's that I'm illiterate. Maybe yeah, that's my other... That illiterate. could be my other my yeah, other thanks. superpower is, is, is illiteracy. Illiteracy. Fighting yeah. illiteracy with illiteracy. Exactly. I'm gonna... Yeah. You should write... Can we write that down? Just, I know there's a t-shirt idea maybe in the future. <laughs> fighting illiteracy with illiteracy. <laughs> Joey Kern's Kid Project. <laughs> Kern's Kids. Can't read. Kern's Kids can't quite... Read. All K's. All K's. And for see through, our K's down. Read is called the K. <laughs> Creed. Remember those x ray glasses? Is that something yeah. that's part of his thing or no? He can that, actually that's see. That's more of his disguise. Totally unnecessary. That's something he just would bring to set every day. He would say, Joey, <laughs> please get over Wear those yellow glasses and he'd just sneak them on. Oops, is the camera rolling? <laughs> no, we needed something because he had the mask. And so you needed, we needed something to kind of say, okay, this guy's incognito um, because, but you never see, you don't really see my character. I guess you see him outside of this costume, but just at the beginning and the end. 
of the film. So we needed something to, when he's in public, you know, he, but it became kind of a, a nuisance because the camera would always reflect on the on the plastic of the go of the goggles. Yeah, Chris Lovisor at the DP, he really hated those glasses. And it sucked for me too because I would have to kind of tilt my head and say, okay, I can't see the camera now. And then I would have to do the scene without moving my head too much so that the reflection of the, but I, I have amazing stillness. But a lot of people have asked me, is Joey playing a robot in this movie with a, th this, uh, with a tilted head issue? And I had to explain to them, no, no, you are not a robot in this film. I feel like I look really natural when I do it. Yeah, a little bit robotic. A little robotic, actually. Like a natural robot. Yeah, sometimes people start messing with it the, because the, they think the, this frame is frozen. In the, it's the stillness of that yeah, character. Yeah, it's odd. It's just a very odd thing that you have to do. Like very weird. It. Like well, when it's the A story, you know what I mean? You really got to ground the film. I feel like that grounded it. Next question. <laughs>